In this video, I'll explain my experiences with the writing competition circuit and the mistakes I made along the way. If only there were videos like this one when I was first starting out. Hold on tight, there's a lot to unpack. For any of this to make sense, I really need to share a little about me and my history and how my experiences have shaped my writing. I served in the United States Army. I worked in the medical field for over 30 years. I am a twice married father of one and grandfather of three. I have lived with clinical depression and suicidal thoughts, addiction, and PTSD from a traumatic childhood. And it took decades for me to embrace those things as experiences I could use in my stories. So now that you know where the inspiration comes from, you might be wondering how I got here, how I learned to write, when it all started, and why. The truth is, I always wanted to be a novelist. I had several stories in my head that I dreamed of writing someday. I was just too busy with my life and career to put serious time into it. And then one day, while watching a movie, it dawned on me. Holy crap, I can see my story on the big screen. It should be a movie. Why hadn't I thought of that before? That was in 2018. I didn't know the first thing about writing a screenplay. But once I became obsessed with the idea, I wasn't about to let small details like that stop me. And so the research began. I learned everything I could through books and videos. Once the outline turned into a first draft, I paid a script consultant to help me mold it into an actual script through rewrite after rewrite. And that's when the real school of hard knocks began. Dollar sign on my name, catch me if you can. So here's what I learned after entering contests, paying a fortune for script analysis, paying a consultant on more than one occasion for script evaluation, paying a script polishing company, and hosting my scripts on three different script hosting sites, which, by the way, charge extra for script coverage. Script coverage that turned out to be average at best. So let's get to it. I did some things that I regret, but I should have known better. I have other regrets, but only in hindsight because I was duped. At this chapter in my journey, it's a moot point to separate them that way, so let's just get to it. Number 1. I regret not being more selective when choosing screenwriting contests. It took what seemed like forever to figure out that the vast majority of festivals were actually scams. My guess is that this is painfully obvious to virtually every person even remotely affiliated with the film industry. But it is a hard lesson to learn for aspiring newcomers like me. There are only a handful of screenwriting competitions that industry professionals actually respect and care about. There are very few that managers and agents actually know by name. The writing competition circuit is infested with predatory scammers who make no pretense of the fact that you will receive absolutely nothing for your entrance fee. Don't blow your money and don't risk handing over your work to untrustworthy players. Number 2. I regret chasing recommend. I spent a large chunk of my budget on a script coverage service that touts, get a recommend rating and your chosen writer may ask if you like your movie script passed on to his or her manager, agent, or other industry contacts for consideration. With each resubmission and resubmission fee, the reader would say it's so close, but the suggestions for rewrites became more and more vague. After multiple draft rewrites and resubmissions, the reader finally suggested a final touch of submission 
to get the script quote ready for the industry unquote, not understanding how it could be so close, but still not getting the coveted recommend. I decided to pay for a one on one consultation by phone. It was only then that the reader shared the reality. They were instructed not to give scripts a recommend. You can draw your own conclusions. I felt like I had been punched in the gut. Is this really representative of the industry I'm dealing with? Long story short, he agreed to give the script the all important recommend. And he admitted the script deserved the honor long before now. I asked if he would send it to a producer as indicated on the website. He said he would be happy to. That was the last I heard from him or his company. Footnote, adding the fact that your script received a recommend from X company on a query letter is, let's just say not helpful. <laughs> Number three, I regret questioning feedback. Keep in mind that I've submitted my scripts to hundreds of competitions over the course of about six years. Some of those were chosen because feedback was included with the submission. And while much of it was intelligent, reasonable, and perhaps even actionable, there is nothing worse than reading feedback on your story and wondering what the hell the reader is even talking about. Here are three quick examples. One reader made the following statement. The protagonist killed his male lover. Two little problems. The protagonist didn't have a male lover. And two, no one was killed in the entire story. I made it clear that the story was clearly inspired by actual events and the characters are based on real people. Yet, in other examples, the reader dedicates long passages to questioning whether people in AA actually still drink or if a nurse practitioner actually sees patients like a doctor would. They made suggestions as to how to change the plot to make it more comfortable or believable for them personally. Which brings me to my regret. On several occasions, I contacted the companies that I thought had given bad feedback for whatever reason. One of them replied simply, we stand by our analysts. The others offered to have a different analyst read the screenplay and write their own feedback. I accepted their offers. Any guesses what happened? On each of the new feedbacks, the scores were lower than the original ones and the comments were even more critical. Again, draw your own conclusions. My advice is to learn how to get the best out of the worst in life and keep plugging onward. Number four, I regret submitting my work before it was ready. This is a no-brainer for anyone who has been a writer for a while. But for a novice who could be compared to a kid in a candy store, it was all I could do to control the urge to send my scripts to any contest with a flashy logo. And we all know how easy film Freeway and PayPal make it. But if I had taken the time to focus on substantial rewrites between submissions, I could have saved a pile of cash and still ended up with a great screenplay. Oh. Number five, I regret getting sucked into online virtual pitches. For the love of God and all that is holy, please don't fall for this one. Or should I say, please do your research. If you look up each of these pitches on IMDb Pro, you will be blown away by how inconsequential most of them are. This could be an entire video. Suffice it to say, you will be lucky to get three to five hits per 100 pitches, and once you send them your script, don't be shocked if you are ghosted. Do you really believe that the big production companies, agents, and managers are sitting around waiting to get a pitch from this sort of platform, asking for a friend? Please check out my other videos in this series and on my channel. Until next time, keep on writing and keep on learning.